So I'm going to try and answer some questions on fibromyalgia this morning. So the first question, I suppose, is what exactly is fibromyalgia and what causes it? And I think that's one of the most difficult questions to answer. Fibromyalgia is, is a cluster of, sim of symptoms that um, usually happen, tend to happen in women, but you also find them in men. And we know it's caused by an abnormality in the nervous system. And for some reason, the body's ability to process normal pain messages goes out the window. And what that means is we end up with people who are very almost super sensitive to pain. And the symptoms that people experience are traditionally clustered together and can range from what we call the classic fibro fog, which is dis um, difficulty thinking, difficulty concentrating, and a feeling of almost being out of your body watching events happen around about you, <clears throat> to multiple pains. So we can have stiff muscles and the term myalgia is, is, is from fibromyalgia comes from aches in the muscles. Um, there's some classic traditional tender points that people experience with fibromyalgia. So they're often tender around their temples and their jaw, their neck, their back, their shoulders, elbows, wrists, hips, knees, ankles, and obviously these are, these are not exclusive tender points. <clears throat> but we often find that people also have other associated pain conditions as well. Um, people can have temporomandibular joint dysfunction, which is pain in the actual joint of your, te of your, your jaw. Um, women can often suffer from dysmenorrhea or pelvic pain, which is, is pain when menstruating. And there can be other painful syndromes associated with it as well. It's quite common when you have fibromyalgia to have problems with your bladder or bowels and usually that's because the, the bowels and bladder go from being overactive, so having loose bowel movements, to underactive and that, that's often associated with um, IBS um, or it can also be associated with an overactive um, bladder, so lots of trips to the, to the toilet to pass water um, throughout the night as well. And, and coupled with that, people who have fibromyalgia often suffer from a difficulty sleeping as well. And so life can be quite hard because when you have to match up a poor quality night's sleep with the ongoing pains that you have, aches and pains, but actually trying to function in a normal capacity and, and live as well as we can is really quite difficult. And so it's important that you find someone that can understand what fibromyalgia is and actually look at the targeted treatment therapies for it to help improve it. Now because it's a multi-system illness um, there's different ways to manage it and often you need multiple sources of input. Um, sometimes having some psychological support is quite important um, and we know that there are, are certain conditions associated with pain that the problem is to do with the wiring in the brain and sometimes a psychologist can help reset that. And very often what we find as well is that the nerve painkillers are really helpful with fibromyalgia, not only because they help afford a better night's sleep, but actually they improve the quality of the sleep as well. And that's quite important because it's important not to sleep a long time, but it's important to sleep well. And the nerve painkillers themselves can be quite helpful in actually helping the pain symptoms of fibromyalgia, which is really the, the most common symptom that people really struggle with. And then sometimes having a graded exercise programme run by specialist physiotherapies can just help people grill, gradually build up their activity um, from doing very little to, to doing a lot more. We know that people can develop fibromyalgia at any point in their life. We know that often there's quite a significant emotional trauma or emotional stress that precipitates it, but not always. And we know that it's, it's, it's quite often a lifelong condition but actually the important thing is to be able to manage it and to best manage uh, your life as, as best as you can um, so that actually you have a better quality of life um, and not only that, but you actually regain the enjoyment of life.